All month, 10 on your side celebrates the 100th anniversary of Naval Station Norfolk. And today we're talking about the women of the Navy. 10 on your side, Lex Gray spoke with a veteran who saw incredible changes in her 20 years of service. Lex? Stephanie and Laura, the Navy recruiting slogan sold Joanne Teal. Join the Navy, see the world. She did that. She also got married, had kids, made chief, and witnessed fundamental changes in how the Navy and other sailors treated women. For Joanne Teal, joining the Navy at a time when not many women were in wasn't an act of rebellion. It wasn't about making history. It was impulse. A cousin of mine had been in town, and he just joined the Navy, and he said, why don't you join? And I was like, okay, let's give it a shot. Teal was 20 and working at a car radio factory. Joining the Navy got her out of the factory and out of her small town in western New York. Something to do to make, make a better life, yeah. Teal made a life and a whole career. She met her husband in the Navy, traveled overseas, deployed briefly on ships, and made chief, even though at her first command she was shocked to be promoted at all. I was thinking all the time, like, wow, I never thought I'd be a petty officer, you know? And then I retired as a chief. Also remarkable, Teal had two kids. When she joined in 73, women had to get out of the Navy if they got pregnant, and they weren't allowed back in. That changed just in time for Teal but not for a married couple she was friends with. She got pregnant and got out, and he stayed in. So I often wonder, you know, had she been able to stay in, would she be up there with us as well? Before she retired in 1993, Teal experienced other major changes as well, like the gradual recognition and rejection of sexual harassment. At her first command, Teal remembers sailors lining up to check out the fresh meat. And for a while, working in the kitchen and wearing the regulation skirt uniform, Guys used to come watch her and other women work. Were you uncomfortable? Did you feel disrespected? Absolutely, yeah. But it, it, and it's, I guess it was just the, the time, the decade or whatever. By 1985, Teal was serving as a sexual harassment prevention officer. That's a position, a phrase that didn't even exist when she enlisted. It seems weird. It's like, why didn't we have a choice or why didn't we know it was wrong? Still, Teal believes the Navy women of today are even stronger than she was, and she's proud to see so many climbing the ranks. When I made chief was a big uh, milestone for me, because when I did, there were very few, like a handful of us around, and now there's, oh my gosh, there's captains, there's um, admirals. It's just incredible. I am in awe every time I go someplace and see them all together. Lex Gray, 10 on your side.